Hello everyone, welcome back. Hey, thanks for tuning back in. Um, I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. Uh, we had a great Christmas around here, all things considered. Uh, my beautiful daughter uh, took the reins and made sure that everything was taken care of. My, my wife has been amazing. Um, so yes, I hope everybody had a great Christmas just like I did. Um, anyways, as promised, I was able to procure permission to record my radiation session. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, a couple of disclaimers. First of all, um, sorry about the unflattering angle. Uh, the only place I could take it um, is, you know, shooting towards um, me and the radiation table. And so you see my feet and the bottom part of my gut. This is this was taken a couple of weeks ago before I lost um, quite a bit of weight. Um, also, there's going to be some voiceover. Uh, they play music, and to avoid any type of monetization or not monetization, but copyright strikes, I'm going to go ahead and mute the music that is playing during the treatment. But just in case you're wondering, it was some George Strait playing this day. I was in a uh, George Strait kind of mood, so. We listened to some Amarillo by morning, some uh, other things. So, um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started on it. And so, as you can see here, I'm getting everything set up. We're going to climb up on the table. And uh, what they've got there, they've, they've got the uh, uh, pad to go underneath my knees. It usually takes a little bit of time to get everything situated. It actually takes longer to get me on the table than it does the treatment sometimes. So, but here we go. Now, they're asking me what I want to listen to, and now she's got the mask in her hands. Every time they put this mask on me, uh, I'm reminded of a, uh, a certain scene in a certain favorite movie of mine, a certain favorite movie genre of mine. You guys may recognize it. Here it is. Anyways, here we go. They're buckling me in. And they're going to go ahead and beat feet out of there. Now, this whole time, I'm buckled in. I can't see anything that's going on around me. I don't see, I just see the, uh, the movements of the machine as it moves around my head. I don't see uh, anything that's going on on those screens in the upper right hand corner there. I don't see how the machine is moving when it does move. I don't see any of that stuff. All I see is my reflection in a plate glass radiation chamber. So right here, things are getting aligned. You can see the, the laser lines that are going through. Um, they're aligning everything up with the, the marks that they made when I first went in to get fitted for my mask. I got fitted for my mask and they did a scan to make sure that the mask was lined up and that they could plan my radiation treatment. Right here, they're just going through and making sure that everything is aligning up. The treatment itself, the radiation itself, has not started yet. It has not been going through my, my body just yet. And I'm going to try to keep talking and narrating through this thing uh, to, to keep the dead air away. Uh, but th on this particular day, it took them a little bit longer to get me aligned. I'm not sure exactly what was going on, but... It normally does not take this long and I get in in about a minute and a half everything's aligned and then it starts up uh, 
And I'll go ahead and fast forward through this a little bit and speed it up just because, well, maybe I won't. I want to give you guys a good, accurate representation about how long this takes. And again, I don't know. We went through an entire song of George Strait before we were able to start actually going. And here we go. We're starting the radiation now. So things are starting to move around. As you can see, it just a big old, big old tube. Uh, not necessarily even a tube, just a kind of an enclosure. That part there where it says Varatan, that's uh, a varian, whatever, whatever it says. That's where the radiation's coming out. You can see, if you're underneath it, you can look and uh, you'll see a bunch of fingers that are molding and shaping the radiation to get it exactly where it needs to be. Now, I don't feel a thing. I don't feel any of the radiation. I don't feel any of the uh, other waves. Um, I do feel a slight warm sensation as it's going over, you know. Um, I don't know if that's psychosomatic and then just in all my mind, but I, I, I do feel a little bit of warmth as it goes over my body. Um, you'll see this, it'll, it'll do this pass just like this about three times and then I'm done. It really doesn't take very long at all to, to get this taken care of. Um, and here it comes back around and I get to see my face in the mask again as the plate glass goes over my face. And, uh, this is pretty much it now for the next few minutes all you all it does is go around my head and uh, focus that radiation in on the bad cells so what it's doing just to give you an explanation of how radiation therapy works on the bad cells see cancer is nothing more than um, damaged dna that um, refuses to die and so what it does is it starts going ahead and separating and multiplying into separate cells, duplicates itself into separate cells, and causes a tumor. Now, when this gets out of control, you get that you, you get the tumor, and you start getting pain, and you get diagnosed with cancer. Um, cancer, unfortunately, is something that everybody goes through. It just uh, it's a natural cause. It's a, it's a natural part of life. It's just when the cancer cells itself miss the commands or refuse to die like they're supposed to, they multiply. And what the radiation does, since, since these cells are a lot um, less um, robust than the healthy cells, the radiation uh, basically kills them. I mean, it zaps it and it forces them to die. Um, the nice thing about this type of radiation, even 15 years ago, my type of cancer could have been, uh, only had like a 35% survival rate. Um, nice thing about this is they've learned how to focus the radiation beams into uh, narrow strips to avoid damaging as uh, many healthy cells as possible, all while destroying the, the bad cells. And so what this machine is doing is it's shaping and bending and uh, modifying the radiation to go into uh, the tumor itself and shrink it. 
It took them about 10 days to come up with my radiation plan. Once I went through my simulation uh, and they did the scans, they figured out exactly where my tumor is and it took them 10 days to uh, figure out the plan and sh figure out the shape of the radiation. Once they uh, were able to get that done, I came in. Um, They're doing seven weeks of intense radiation on the tumor itself and then there's five weeks of lower radiation um, on the uh, healthier cells around just to make sure nothing's spreading. This is all done concurrently. The first two weeks of my radiation um, were mainly on the tumor. These last few weeks are going to be on the tumor and around the healthy cells just to make sure that everything is is gone and I don't have any type of metastatic, uh, metastatic disease after treatment. Um, so I should be about done here. It should be finishing up because it goes down here at the bottom and then it'll stop. So as you can see, it's just like basically, yep, there we go. We're done. And it's all done. So now they're going to come in and unbuckle me. And we're at about 10 and a half minutes already um, in there. And really, it doesn't even, it usually doesn't take that long. It just took them a little bit longer to get me aligned on this day than, than normal. So here they come to let me out of my mask. That's pretty much it. Oh, right now what they're doing is they're actually, uh, on this day, they had to take some measurements as well. So what they'll do throughout the entire process is uh, once a week, they'll take measurements of you on the table to make sure that you're in the exact spots you need to be. Uh, if things are not square up like, uh, like they're supposed to, then they'll make some, adjust, uh, some uh, adjustments as necessary. But they need to make sure that they're getting the, the radiation exactly where it needs to be to avoid any damage to healthy cells. So here I come down. And that's it. So as you can see, it's painless. Uh, at least the radiation itself is painless. Side effects, however, not so much. We've discussed those. Um, it's quick. Uh, there's really nothing to be worried about. My anxiety was through the roof when I first started this. Um, I'm claustrophobic, so that mask really, really bothered me at first. But um, it's not so bad now, you know, especially since I've lost weight and it's a little bit looser on my face and around my neck and my throat. Uh, I don't have that, that gagging sensation. I don't have that choking sensation. Even though I wasn't choking, I could breathe just fine. It was just a, it was a panic attack. So um, I hope this answered some questions. I hope this, you find this health, uh, helpful, uh, useful. Um, please, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to be able to answer any questions that you have. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my experience and, and what I have, but please um, take that with a grain of salt. Talk to your physician if you have um, any further questions. Um, if you would like to join my journey from the beginning, click up here and we'll get you started on that. And um, if you enjoy this video series, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, let's get me to uh, a, a thousand subscribers um, so I can start getting monetized. Um, that, that would definitely really help my situation out quite a bit. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring useful content to, to the page, to the channel. Um, and for those of you who are looking for drone footage, don't worry, it's coming. I haven't had a chance to get out and fly. I was going to go out and fly at Christmas time, but, uh, the weather just was not cooperating. It was too windy and I did not really feel like, uh, being out in the cold with 
uh, feeling the way that I have been. So, uh, but it is coming. I am going to be getting more drone footage as soon as I possibly can, and um, we'll be incorporating that with um, some stuff with my cancer treatment. I've got I've got a few ideas. Um, I want to start. Um, I think I want to start a club uh, to help people um, not only enjoy the hobby of, of drones and, and get educated, but I also would like to um, start doing it for a cause, maybe maybe cancer research, who knows? I don't know how that's gonna work out yet, but um, it's just a bunch of ideas that God's been giving me in my head and some things that I need to put into action. I've gotta put it out a plan and, um, and, and, and really start focusing on what it is I wanna do. But anyways, um, this video has been long enough. It's probably about 20 minutes now, and I don't wanna keep you too much longer, but I really appreciate you joining the conversation. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys.